Elon Musk's been cooking up something in his lab that could make you question if you're living in reality or the Matrix. We're talking about Neuralink, a project so wild it's been developing since 2016, and it's not about making you look like a futuristic librarian. Firstly, can you explain what Neuralink is and what the goal of it is? Uh, we put a, a chip in your brain to control your mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is about turning your brain into the next big screen. Here's the deal. Neuralink just got the green light from the FDA for their Blindsight project, which sounds like a superpower, but is actually medical tech that could change lives. The plan? To give sight to the blind by replacing your eyes with tiny digital cameras, and then, brace yourself, drilling holes in your skull to wire those cameras directly into your brain. It's like giving your gray matter an HDMI upgrade, bypassing your eyes completely. Now, compare this to Meta's AR glasses, where you're just layering digital stuff over your view. Sure, it's cool to see digital info floating around, but can you smell that virtual coffee or feel the digital breeze? No way. Even Zuck admitted that touching and smelling an AR is about as likely as spotting a unicorn. But with Neuralink, we're looking at a whole new level where virtual experiences might trick your brain into thinking they're real. Let's be honest though. Elon, the king of setting expectations to the moon, says at first, this vision might be like playing Pong, not watching Avatar in IMAX. But if you've ever wanted to see the world in infrared like Geordi LaForge, your time might just come. Imagine looking at your cat and seeing its heat signature or spotting hidden patterns in the night sky that normal eyes can't see. Meta's glasses are fancy tech, but they're toys compared to this. Blindsight is about restoring sight, giving someone their first look at their child's face, or experiencing a sunset for the first time. That's the real magic, making this project about more than just tech. It's about life-changing moments. It's about giving back something as fundamental as sight offering a new chapter to those who thought their story was visually over. Now, imagine the future where this becomes the norm. Convincing people to wear AR glasses daily is one thing, but brain surgery? That's next level commitment. After years with AR glasses, maybe surgery will start sounding like a spa day. Think about it. After dealing with the inconvenience of glasses, the idea of a one-time surgery for a lifetime of enhanced vision might not sound so bad. Plus, no more worries about breaking your glasses or needing a new prescription. But here's the kicker. Neuralink could be more sustainable. Once installed, upgrades mean popping in a new chip or battery, not buying a whole new device. Sure, there's some skin peeling involved, but hey, no one said the future would be all smooth sailing, right? And unlike glasses that can get lost, broken, or outdated, this is a part of you. Imagine never having to worry about your glasses fogging up or falling off during a run. And let's not forget the privacy and security aspect. Imagine if your thoughts could be hacked or if you could hack into someone else's. It's like the ultimate invasion of privacy or the most personal form of communication. But let's keep it light. The upside is controlling tech with your mind. No more fumbling for your phone. Just think it, and it's done. Want to change the channel? Think it. Need to check your emails? Just a thought away. Now, here's where we get a bit existential. If you can experience virtual reality so vividly that you can taste, touch, smell, and feel it, where does reality end and simulation begin? If our experiences are just signals interpreted by our brain, are we not already in some kind of simulation? You're not just human, you're a bioelectric entity navigating what we call reality, possibly in the world's most advanced VR suit, your body. Think about it. If you can feel the warmth of a virtual sun or the chill of a digital wind, how different is that from the real thing? If you can have a conversation with someone who's not physically there but feels as if they are, what's real? What if one day you prefer the controlled, perfect world of VR over the unpredictable, sometimes harsh reality? So, while Zuckerberg's glasses might make you look like you're from the future, 
Neuralink is here to make you question what future even means. Are you ready to break reality as we know it? Or will you stick with the dorky glasses and call it a day? The choice might soon be yours. If this makes you feel like your reality's shifting, you're not alone. We're all just trying to figure out if we're in the matrix or not. Drop your thoughts below and let's ponder whether we're stepping into a new era of human experience or if we've been living in one all along. Maybe one day, we'll all look back and laugh at how we used to think reality was just what our eyes could see.